Hello and welcome to another episode of Decoy Place. And today we're going to kick off a new city in City Skyline. And I reached out to a couple of friends and I said, what would be a good map to start off with? And they said, Mountain Tapper. Is it tapper or Taper? Mountain Taper or Tapper? Uh, if you want to know, leave a comment down below, go right ahead. Uh, let me know the correct way to say it, because to me, I see tap her. So, but I've heard it announced other different ways. So this is kind of a um, valley area. I'm going to go ahead and go with the name of West Valley. I think that's actually pretty good. And this is from the, the latest DLC pack for the actual map packs. So we'll go ahead and... Um, kick off a new one we're not going to play with the random disasters we're going to go ahead and leave the dynamic weather on uh, i'm going to leave the day and night cycle turned off for right now i'm going to leave everything else laid set up the way it actually is no cheats no nothing 100 vanilla the only thing i have all the dlcs that have been released for it except for the radio stations Go ahead and click on the start and we are going to open up and get started with our new city of West Valley. And here we are with West Valley and the first thing you always want to do when you start a new city is push the pause button before you actually start doing any building. So we're going to go ahead and look here. We have two different sides of the interchange but unfortunately we only get one so let's go ahead and see what we have here well we have railroad right off the bat that's pretty cool so we have two different rail lines let's kind of zoom in a little more and it looks like it's actually pretty fertile farmland and it's in forestry i don't know what i want to actually do with it just yet we do have a little bit of a light here Unfortunately, it uh, may not be pristine for much longer. But then, then we do have this other one over here also. We have a pretty decent size. But I'm going to stick, I think, mainly over here between the two railroads. I think it would be kind of neat to actually have the railroads kind of go between the two different areas instead of building directly off of the actual main road. I can actually extend those down and then build back up towards them. So I think that's what I'm going to actually do with this one. First thing you want to do is since all the all roads are locked, you're just going to want to come in, right down a road. And delete the road. And now, we have our one-way roads and our regular roads. We have our four lane, medium, six lanes, but no highways yet. That's fine. We have centers, intersections. I'm going to go ahead and start laying out the city over here. And I think I'm going to stick with like in this general area and maybe this general area over here. It just kind of has some rail kind of go through it. I'll probably need to go through and uh, do some urban cleanup uh, once we get everything laid out. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, build out. Let's see. Let's do. Um, let's do about a 150. And we just kind of come over towards the end here. That's going to have us a nice little area off towards this way. And then we can come back over here. I don't want to go too close to the um, to the edge just yet. But we'll just kind of give it a little jack, a little jagger. There we go. So now we actually have coming off to this side, and we'll have coming off over to here. Now kind of gives us a little bit of room to actually build back and forth and it'll keep our power and our water pretty close together uh, coming into this way. 
then, uh, then we can actually expand over to, towards this side. And then we can actually come back over to here. But uh, I need to get our roads aligned. So what I'm gonna do is, for these, I'm going to take it uh, to a, from a, from the ramp. I'm gonna come out here, come about right in the middle of it. Well, I'm just gonna try to draw a straight line. That's not straight. Um, let's do this. Do. There we go. There's one. There's two. Okay. Now I should be able to come in here with my six line. And I should be able to line that up. About little nudge, not a lot, just a little. Too much. There we go. Put it right here. Get it straight now. Looks good to me. And I'm gonna, why don't I just go ahead and uh, do our one ways. That could be upgrade. There we go. Oh, okay. Uh, let me try this. Oh, let me this straight. Now I should be able to, uh, you know, I guess not. So we can, um, oh, that's not what I wanted. That one's not it either. Okay. And let's go ahead and, um, Come back over to our one road, one way road. One way, more now. We don't want to do that. We went over here. And we'll, this is too short. What? Oh. I'll do that. Oh, you want to do that to me, do you? Um, Wants to do it that way. Okay, it may not be the prettiest, but it's still gonna work for what we need it for. And we're gonna be taking these people all the way down. So what I'm just gonna do now is I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to delete that little section. Then I'm going to literally just reduce them down again to to the single, and then from there I'm going to reduce it down again. So that way we're just kind of funneling the traffic. They're just getting smaller and smaller and smaller all the way down until it. Um, you know that uh, that section don't look right. Like Let's do this. I thought that six would be good there. Apparently not. We'll just put it on. There we go. And now we have two lanes going in. Then it can split out to three. Then three merging to two. Then two down to one. And now I'm just going to go ahead and take this one. We're going to have one train crossing. Well, I like how it kind of goes right into there. And then that will run out. So that's going to be our, eventually our main road coming through town. But I'm going to get this one coming straight out. So now they're going to come out and they're going to come out by the train tracks, but they're not going to cross that one. I just wanted to cross this, this one right now. 
I don't think there's going to be that much traffic. If there is, we can either raise the train or we can actually lower the actual road. Or raise the road. So now we need to get our bare necessities of um, power. We can do coal or wind. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and just start off with coal power. And... Before we do that though, let's look at water. So if I look at the water, I don't see any movement of water flow, except for on the other side. The water just kind of, it looks like it's actually flowing out. So that's actually a good thing there. So, to, in order to keep our water supply clean, I'm going to go ahead and put our intake pump on this side. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, sewage over here. Just for now. I'll probably, I'll probably move those around a little bit. But now I can actually... Uh, I'm gonna just run um, one long pipe between the two, now giving my starting point. And let's go back to our power now. Um, I think I may put, um, no, that's an idea. I can actually come over here now and I may just um, go ahead and uh, do that. Uh, we'll make a train crossing. Here, then we'll um, make a small area. Oh, it doesn't want to do a nine. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of that section of the road. This will be kind of our beginning industrial area right here. I think that'll be a pretty good spot. It should be, um, I think, a nice area to start off with. So now I can actually come back over and I can put our power plant. Um, I think I'll put our power plant over here. I think I'll put our power plant like right here. And then uh, I will come over and, oh, we don't get garbage yet. We don't get anything yet. So we got our power and we have a beans of water. So we can actually start building, and I'm thinking about what we want to put some uh, residential. Uh, we're gonna probably build in towards the train tracks. That's going to be my industrial area over there. And this is going to be, I think, my residential and commercial area. I think I'm going to have more residential towards the inside the lake. So let's go ahead and give them a little bit of road. I don't want it to go all the way too crazy. Actually, Let's, uh, let's see this one curved in a little bit. Probably we're not all. No, uh, a little too far. Maybe here, then over. Yeah, I like that. That looks pretty good. We got this little strip here, then this little strip over here. We can kind of come out. We can kind of 
turned it back around. Get some, uh, some little curves going in here instead of having just standard uh, roads. And then we can um, come back over to straight now and we'll have this one come off. Then we can have this one come out without either. It'll come in. And I'm not going for any type of uniformity or anything like that with this city. I'm just gonna just free flow, kind of go with the flow. Uh, I, I, I'm, most of my cities are grids that I build and I'm trying to get away from that. I just want some free flow. So I'm doing some, you know, some interesting curves uh, coming back through just to make them uh, give some character to them. If I can curve this one back around. Nope. Let me start from here. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. That uh, gets a little character. So let's go ahead and get some zoning going on here for these people. And we'll zone this area here. I'll leave the, uh, the lake side kind of free for now. Uh, this I'll give a little bit of residential, but on this side I'm gonna have have a little commercial on the outer edge of that one. And kind of the same here. And I'll give this um, some residential. I want this to kind of be uh, commercial. I think that'll give it a, a little bit of a splash. I'm going to leave this area kind of open in the center right here so that way everybody's got a nice kind of view. And over here all these houses will kind of have a nice view coming through. So we have, um, getting everything set up here, we'll give these guys some commercial. I think that'll be pretty good there, I think that's going to be a pretty good start. And we'll come back over to our, our industrial area, and we'll just kind of get this. Get that put in there and that'll give us a little room. Then we can go back to straight. Then this one. And I'll give it enough room to put our landfill in and get some other items rolling. So we need to come back over to our power because that's the first thing they're gonna ask for. And so I'm going to come from here, we'll come across, train track across, and we will run it to the Y right here. And then once they start filling in, we should be able to see what we're doing. And we're actually out of money, so we do need to start the game now. So we have enough power to get everything started. Once people start rolling into it, um, we should actually start seeing some uh, some pretty good um, layout. But I think this is a pretty good start. Um, I always start off a little in the negative. That's normal. But I think with, uh, with the way the city's laid up, we have our water, we have... Um, we got the water, we have the sewer set up, we have the power. Um, it's just gonna take a little bit of time. Oh, people are starting to move in all the way over on the other side.
So once it, these people start moving in, we really don't get any taxing just yet. But, uh, that should change here in a little bit. Uh, I don't think I actually have a loan ready yet, economy. Economy, and uh, we don't actually have get our uh, loan yet. We will when we hit a population of 480. So once we hit our population of 480, then we should be able to get our loan and then be able to run power to, to these people and get water to them. But being a brand new city, you gotta take that into consideration. So it's off to a good start. And this is normally not the way I start off the city. I just normally go four bore right into it. But I think that this is a good start to a good map. Uh, I think uh, I think before too awful well long, it'll be um, be building up pretty good. Uh, we're actually losing money pretty quickly right now, uh, but we should start getting some populations in. Um, for some reason, we're not seeing anything. Let's go ahead and jump it up to three times. My population is still at zero. Everybody's complaining. There we go. We got 31 people now. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go and back this off a little bit. And then what I will do is come over here. Tap them in. Now they should have power and everybody should be happy. Except for water. So let's go ahead and um, some of them have water. Everybody. Oh, the pump doesn't have water. Oh, okay. So we can go ahead and uh, run some piping. I should get majority of the people. So we should have water and we should have electrical power now. And we should really start seeing an increase in our people. Yes, I know I'm actually in the negative negatives, but normally, like I said, I start off in the negatives and then it'll creep up there once I actually start getting the population built in. Oh, we got a couple of people without, but uh, we need to go ahead and get our um, deal in. Let's go and speed it up a little bit. Then we should start seeing people um, pop into the city. There goes the train. We're at 249. They're calling for industrial. You know, that's one thing we forgot to do. Let's go ahead and give these people some industrial. I forgot we did not. We forgot we did not um, zone up for that. So we will. Um, Hopefully start getting some industrial people coming in here and that should help boost our, um, boost our people moving in. We're still in the negatives. It's gonna take a while for it to work out once we get it to our um, 400 and, um, Come on, people, we will be able to take out our loan 
and majority of that should go away at that point. Let's go ahead and um, zone this out for industrial also. And that should help uh, get some power going over to them at least. Oh man, it looks like a parade of people coming in. Yes, I know, they are wooden water too. Wow, they look like little ants marching in. Has anybody decided to move in over here yet? No, not yet. They will. Yes, I know you probably want, uh, you probably want, oh, we got an achievement. We got the most unpopular uh, mayor. And I wasn't even trying. <laughs> That's a good one to have. Uh, but yes, we are having some problems with the city beginning. But um, maybe I ought to call this one, you know, how not to play city skylines. <laughs> uh, it has been a struggle. I'm at 305. Can I get it up to the 480? Nobody wants to move in over here. That's why I thought everybody's gonna want to move. They normally move in the farthest away. Yes, I know you're running out of water. But I need some moolah. Come on, give me the people. Oh, I'm actually getting people built over here, but I'm getting I'm losing people left and right. So I'm losing people, but I'm getting people. I'm not gonna be able to meet the the 430. Here's my bankrupt alert. That's it. I'm calling the game. Um, I, oh, actually, I can take a bailout. If I take... Um, yes, I will take the bailout. So, I'm not going to call the game. I decided I was going to want to call the game, but I'm not going to call the game. Because I'm going to take this bailout, honey, and I'm going to fix my bad. <laughs> yes, I know. Um, it needs to be done. So let's, um, first thing I want to do is I want to come over here and I'm going to hook that electrical in. And then I'm going to connect here. And I will plug into there. And now we actually have power running to our pump. And before they start talking about how bad of a real mayor I am, I need to go over and run over to there too. Now, everybody should have power. Everybody should have water. Well, these people may not have water. Let's check. No, they are literally right on top of the water main. So these people should have water. Oh, these people won't. We can fix that. We will, um, we'll keep, we'll make sure that that all has water. And over here, let's, um, just run a pipe. Everybody will have water here, because I'm going to just tap into here. And now, everybody in town should have electric and water. I do have some abandoned buildings. I'm starting to get people to come back in. The amount is still creeping down, but hopefully that'll be turning around here in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to... Oh. Oh, there we go, we got my 480. We can do taxes and loans now, garbage, healthcare, and education. Uh, so... We are going to literally knock out these abandoned structures. That'll help uh, respark some accumulation. Oh, I need to drop this down to one. There we go. 
And let's go back to our economy now. So I'm going to go ahead and take this loan out. And also, let's go to taxes. We're going to raise our taxes 12%. Um, and we should be pretty good to go there. That will help. Um, that'll kind of help drive a little bit. Uh, we got a little bit of money now coming in. We have $188. So our taxes are going to start helping us now. Uh, we should be able to see all the other good stuff, but they're going to start complaining. They're going to start complaining now that um, the garbage is going to build up. So we need to go ahead and put our garbage dump in. I'm going to put it right there. Call a little eminent domain. We'll put, put all of our city uh, services right there. So they're calling for more industry still. Uh, there's still plenty of land for industry. Our population uh, it seems to be doing pretty good right there. Um, we have some build up over here. So it looks like everybody's kind of happy now. We've got a good positive rating instead of being the worst mayor in the town. Um, a nice little area over here. Uh, it's kind of got some, you know, kind of cool vibes to it. There's um, waiting for this commercial to re to repop out here, uh, like the little center area. And then over here, uh, this nice little residential area. There, are, there is a little commercial over here. I uh, got like an ice cream shop, a couple of little shops out here. Got uh, residential on one side, new buildings coming in. Um, so if we come in, we don't have police and fire yet, but we do have emergencies, so we do have healthcare. I don't think we need to put healthcare in just yet. I want to wait until we actually start getting a little more population, or until they actually start asking for healthcare. Because that can really be a little bit of a problem for getting that laid out to where it's a fine balance. And as you can see, it took a while. I had to wait for the bailout in order to get around all that. And that's not what I really truly wanted to do to begin with. Um, we do have, ooh, we do have a issue here with a little bit of water. So did I miss somebody? Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, yes. We'll run right down the center of the street here. I'm surprised to see the power plant has been complained about not having any power or water. Oh, wait, did I forget a little? I did. Yeah, just a little bit of an area. Okay, so the majority of this should be covered. They're actually asking for more. I need to connect that over. That's pretty good there. So they're asking for more residential and then more of uh, the other. So let's go ahead and we'll kind of expand this neighborhood out. Take uh, this one. We'll come out to right here. Yes, I know you're not going to be too happy with that. Then from here, we can kind of, kind of, actually, no, I want to leave that one alone. We're going to come out to about right here. Then up here, we're going to come out over about right here. Don't want it connecting just yet. I want, to, I want to leave it to where they come in and come back up. Okay, with this one, we're going to have our curb point out. Okay. 
too far. Went too far out. Went up and then over. Like I said, I'm going to kind of mix it up just a little bit from what I normally play. And now I should be able to put some pretty nice lot houses in here. Everybody should have power. So, with these uh, nice little rounded neighborhoods, you got uh, houses with some pretty good sized backyards for the kids to play in. You got uh, no commercial rebuilding in yet. Uh, they're still asking for a little more industry. So, we will uh, go over here and we will. Uh, Actually, let's go ahead and put another road down the center. We'll, uh, oh, I don't want to do a curb. We'll, uh, we'll make our industry a little on the squared side. There we go. So now we're going to have our little industrial area over here, and then they're going to be trucking back and forth over to here. We're back up to uh, around 62,000. We have about 1,000 coming in. So everything is looking pretty good. And for a little bit of a rough start, everything is starting to look like it's coming together. It looks like we have some commercial starting to pop up along here. Or is this a house? I can't remember if this is uh, This is all residential. Okay, that's right. Then we have our nice forested tree line road. It's pretty good. Then the commercial area will... Um, Come back through, this should all be commercial. Yep. Got um, commercial lined up there, so whenever commercial is ready to reorganize itself, it'll have a nice place to put itself. So kind of just getting an idea, you have all of our industrial off that way. We have mixed uh, commercial, and residential on both sides asking for more residential so we have plenty of residential over on this side over here but i don't actually have access to parks or anything just yet so once i get access to a park what I'm thinking about doing is putting a park right here in this general area. I think that'd be a good place for a park. So we're going to go ahead and kind of do the same thing over here. Oh. Do curb. Okay. 
Not a perfect circle, but good enough for the gander. More homes put in. Now they're asking for a little more industry. We still have plenty of industry over here. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. We have our landfill. We have our uh, roads and trains. Our trains are not very frequent, so I'm not really too worried about them just yet. Come back over and see how we're doing over here. We're up to 663 people. New houses going in all the time. Looks like it's actually building up pretty good. Let's see what we actually have over here. This area is kind of building pretty good. Which I thought it would. It's all the way up towards the edge. But I can't actually but I can actually kinda of come through and kinda of fill this area in just a little more so we can get rid of some of these power lines. Then like I said, we can actually start building back this way. I kinda of want this to be, you know, uh, all low density area, uh, up around the, the uh, water area then um, we can actually start moving the uh, industry over towards the farm or forestry from you know our standard industry that we actually have here so if we actually look at this side we can uh, kind of see that there's more houses going in over here uh, there is a small demand for some commercial and as you can see our commercial district over here is starting to repop again I'm thinking I'm gonna leave Rosewood Street uh, just kind of tree line for right now I think it's kind of a, an interesting way to uh, kind of drive into it right now I kind of gets that nice rustic feeling If they still need more uh, commercial from what they've actually been filling in over here we still have a couple more free uh, free pads available then I might um, I might put some other commercial in over here but they're all starting to kind of fill in a little bit it looks like there's still a couple of a couple of areas there's a uh, like a one pad there another one there with a couple of trees this whole stretch of road here up to here is all commercial too this is all going to be i think um pretty well protected let me um let me do a small and this There we go. That way nothing can build on that corner also. So the houses can come up to a certain point, then they'll actually have to stop. These houses may not stay here for long. I may get rid of these and um, put some um, parks in, in here once we get those available too. But this is our beginning for our city of West Valley. If you want to see more of this great content, uh, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to know when we release new content, make sure you click the bell next to it. Thanks for watching.